Hey fellow dadpreneurs, Adam Dukes here, and in this video I'm going to share with you how to download Instagram con uh, photos, either one at a time or in bulk. But before we get into that, as you probably noticed, uh, how can you not fucking notice, the big old zit on my nose that I have, at 38 years old I'm still getting acne. I was led to believe that that ended at puberty, so I thought at 17 I was done with it, but apparently it stays with you for 21 years. So. Around here at Casa de Dukes, uh, every day is the Super Bowl. We play hurt, we play with blemishes on our face, we play sick, it doesn't matter. Every day is the Super Bowl. I'm committed to putting out two videos each and every week for your viewing pleasure, and that doesn't matter what's going on with my face, how I feel inside, if I'm got a coughing up a lung, I'm putting out these videos. So. Also, real quick, dad life, uh, go to the totaldads.com. It's a dad apparel store, but do it after this video. Do it after this video. Hold on. Uh, that's a dad apparel store that has dad shirts, hats, hoodies. It's got some dadpreneur stuff. It's got some motivational, inspirational stuff. So on to business. So the Instagram photo, what I used to do up until just a few short weeks ago, you're probably going to laugh at me. If I saw a photo I liked on Instagram, I would, I would take a screenshot. I would open it up, I would edit it, I would crop it, I would save it to my pictures, I would open Instagram, I'd post it, put a caption. It was a long process and it was a tedious process and a kind of a pain in the ass and I just wouldn't be as consistent with the content production because it was such a pain to have to do all that. So uh, a few weeks ago I went to Fiverr to find someone to download photos for me and they shot me a quote and then I realized, uh, or then I thought, I was like, hey, I could probably find a tool online to do, for I can do it myself and I found this Google Chrome extension. It's completely free where you can download one image at a time or 27 images at a time. It really doesn't matter. It's a pretty slick tool. I'm also going to share with you my content scheduling strategy for Instagram. Now I post twice a week, or I'm sorry, twice a day on this page. So 14 posts in a week it takes me about 15 minutes every single week to schedule out my content. Now I know some people only post three to four times a week. So really in theory, you could probably post, you could get a month's worth of content scheduling done in 20 minutes. So I'm going to share with you the tool that I use to find uh, hashtags, like the really popular ones, kind of the mid tier hashtags, and then kind of like the lower tier hashtags that are easier to rank. And then I'm also going to share with you the tool that I use, the social media management tool that I use completely free once again to schedule these posts. Uh, I got a buddy of mine. Uh, he was, this is the total dad's page. And he was like, man, you put out a lot of Instagram content. You know, they're, they're so funny. These memes, these dad memes. I'm always laughing. I'm always cracking up. I'm showing friends and family and that. And I was like, I don't like, I sit down on a Saturday afternoon and I schedule all that content out. I'm like, I'm not behind the computer all day long, like scheduling this all out. He thought I was, he had no idea. You know, he's not an entrepreneur, so he doesn't understand you can schedule stuff, but it's just kind of funny with the outside world, outside of the online marketing space. They have no idea that you can automate. Uh, a lot of this stuff. They think it's all manual. So anyways, let's dive right into the video. All right, here we are logged into the Total Dad's Instagram page. As you can see, there's a couple different features up here. One that I totally forgot to mention in the intro is the mobile. It uh, looks like a mobile phone. You can mimic uh, your mobile device. So let me move my face over to the left here. And as you can see, let me shrink this down just a tiny bit if I can. And look at that. So it looks like it's just like a mobile phone. You can click up here. You can DM on your mobile phone. Pretty slick. Uh, and like it, it looks just like you're on your phone. So you can actually direct message from your desktop. It makes it much, much easier. Like if you're reaching out to influencers or if you've got a lot of people to respond to and your thumbs are tired, you can just log in here. You can blow it up if you want and you can use it that way to answer your DMs or reach out to people and DM them. So totally forgot about that feature. So how this tool works is you can kind of hover over right here and as you can see, there's a download button. So if I click download, boom, right there, it downloads the image one at a time. Let's say I go to the Daily Dads page and let's say I like these images. We'll move this over back here. There we go. Uh, let's say I like these top six images as an example. So what we do is go up to this one on the far right, click here. Whoops, wrong one. We click this black one, download all. And uh, so they have 1,230 posts. So I could download all their 1,230 posts, as you can see right here. I just want, let's say, those six. We'll hit six. We'll hit download. It takes a couple seconds to download. And as you can see, down in the lower left-hand corner, it downloads it into a zip folder. Pretty slick. 
Um, so does this tool work? So here's a tool that I forgot to mention. This is uh, called Flanx, I think, P-H-L-A-N-X dot com. It's an Instagram engagement calculator. Now, this page only has 448 followers, so engagements, it's kind of hard to judge with such a small follower account, but you just type in the handle here. It'll give you the followers, and then it'll give you the engagement rate. 11% is pretty damn good. So like I said, posting consistently is obviously the secret to Instagram success. Or a big part of Instagram success, I should say. So 11%. But again, such a low following, it's a little skewed. So as you can see, the kind of average engagement rate, 1 million, 100,000 to 1 million. So 1,000 to 5,000 is 5.6. Let's double that uh, if it's under 1,000. And we're right in the kind of the range. So um, that's the average engagement rate. So anyway, so this is a cool little tool to check out engagement calculators if you're reaching out to influencers and you're buying like shout outs, if you have Shopify or if you're selling whatever it is you're selling, you might want to pull up this tool and make sure and see what their engagement is and then go down and kind of check to see if it falls in line here with the average engagement rate. So here is the tool. It's in the, like I said, it's in the Google Chrome web store. Downloader for Instagram plus direct message is what it's called. Uh, as you can see, it's got 74, almost 7,500 reviews, about five stars. So it's a pretty well-reviewed tool, not just me saying it's a good tool. Next one is uh, the tool I use for hashtag research. It's called Seek Metrics, seekmetrics.com. Uh, they just did a complete redesign. This is just a couple days. Uh, I New in the last couple of days. I just, uh, when I logged in right before I did this video, this was a whole new layout. So what you can do is you just type in, let's say dads. Whoops. Dads. Okay, let's delete first. And your dads. Uh, you can go, it looks like there's a premium. So search for eight uh, dads found 98 unique hashtags. You can filter hashtags uh, if they have emojis. If you don't want to use that, numbers must include dads. Let's do that. That shouldn't change anything. Nope, it didn't. And then you can see the Instagram count. So the dads hashtag has 140 or 1.48 million. And then you can kind of go through and just kind of check the boxes here. I like that one. I like that one. Gay dads. <laughs> I guess I like that one. Not trying to say anything, but dad son, dad sneakers, black dads, dad Steve. And dads and then that will hashtag selected and then you can copy to clipboard and what I like to do is I have a little Google spread or a Google document that I use and I'll show you how to use this with buffer and then I just kind of copy and paste this and I update this um, swapping out hashtags and things like that so let's go into how I schedule the content like I said how I get uh, about a week's worth of content done in about 15 minutes so like I said I use buffer and here's the total dads page so once you're once you set up your once you connect your account you can do um some of the analytics the settings so i go to settings here and what you can do is posting schedule and you can so here's my posting schedule so i post every every um, well monday at 8 45 tuesday through sunday i post at 9 33 a.m and then monday at 5 p.m uh, monday through sunday every day at 5 p.m so like i said i post twice a day 14 times a week you can add times let's say i wanted to add a time on wednesday at three o'clock 307 p.m i'd add posting time and it adds right there if i wanted to delete the five o'clock i could just hit that one so pretty cool how you can do the posting uh, i've used uh, a few different tools and a lot of the tools do this some of the tools don't do this this posting schedule you have to select a date and a time each and every time and that can get very tedious to have to do it every single time so this is nice to just set up the schedule you don't have to do it so all you have to do is upload the image create the caption and click like submit and it schedules it out and I'll show you how that works you go back over to Q and what I like to do is I'm gonna open up this you know I'm gonna go back to Instagram real quick we're gonna find a couple different images or a couple different accounts to follow example purposes real tough dad I'm gonna just go through and kind of go one at a time this one looks good this one looks good this one looks good this one looks good and we'll go back to a third account real quick and just kind of uh, go one by one and find out. This is a good page. Fatherhood is life. And we'll do this one. We'll do this one. That one looks pretty funny. And we'll do this one. So that's it for them. And so what I would do is I would show 
we show all. And what I do is I just grab all the images, the ones that I just recently downloaded, and I just I have a folder on my desktop, total uh, dad memes right here. Then I would create a new folder. I usually do the date, the 29th. Daughter's birthday is tomorrow. She will be six. I cannot believe I have a six-year-old. It was just yesterday she was born, it seems like. It goes fast. I know that's cliche. Um, but so then I have, so I have a few posts here. So let's go back to Buffer. And we'll upload, and all you do is click this right here. So as you can see, this post is scheduled for tomorrow, August 30th. As you can see, here's the caption, here is the image. And then this is also, and then you'll have the time right here, 9.33, like I showed you. And then this is the second post. This is at 5 p.m. So uh, if you wanted to, you could scroll down and select certain days. If you wanted to post, let's say we'll do Sunday. I'm not super, super happy with Buffer. Um, there are some glitches in it, this one being one of them. Please select a social media account to continue. I'm on a social media account. Um, so I'm not crazy about, like, I do like some of the features of Buffer. Okay, there we go. It's just a little glitch, as you can see. I just hit right there. I'm going to open up the dad memes. I'm going to open up 829. And I just go one at a time. So fatherhood is life. I credit the people. And what I do is I go back and I will just copy and paste this right like that copy and I will give them credit fatherhood is life so I try to tag each of the people that I grab the images from just to kind of give credit where credit is due now, I don't always do this I try to do it sometimes I get lazy I'll admit it if you go through my past feed you can see I get get lazy with it but I try to give the people credit uh, dad jokes are my favorite something along those lines and I always like to put in a location so I put in Las Vegas click here schedule post and it'll schedule for uh, next Monday at five o'clock just schedule a few posts I'm not going to walk you through the whole process I'm going to go over this one here open I'm going to paste the same thing I don't know who it was from if it was fatherhood is life so I have to Sometimes I forget to do that, so <clears throat> this one is Fatherhood is Life here. See, it puts their handle right here just so I can give them credit. So Fatherhood is Life, same person, F-A-T-H-E-R, Fatherhood is Life. Sometimes the text here kind of screws up too on Buffer. I don't really like that either. So like I said, it's kind of glitchy. I know Buffer is like one of the most popular social media management tools, but I do find some uh, some mistakes with it what a powerful image add to queue and that's going to schedule right there for saturday we'll do one more i'm not gonna, like i said i don't want to go through the whole process i think you get the point we'll do real tough dad i don't like to do a bunch of pictures from the same uh the same handle that's why i try to download two or three from this person two or three from that person two or three from that person so i get like a mixture of it uh real tough dad we'll grab that one so real tough dad is the name or the handle real tough dad I don't even know the image what's cool about buffer is you can just click here and it'll blow up and I can't see it when the kids are at school and you get a call from the principal's office <laughs> well, my kids are young I haven't had that uh, experience yet but uh, I know those days are coming I know those days are coming there it's gonna be payback for all the years <laughs> my mom and dad got those calls <laughs> Oh yes, my kids are a bit young, but I know those days are coming. It'll be payback for the hell I put my folks through. I put a little smiley face here. There we go, that one's good keep the Las Vegas add the queue and that's it that is how I find the content that's how I download the content that's how I research the hashtags that is how I check the engagement score with uh, I'll have links to all these um, all these resources down below too. flanks 
So there you have it, fellow dadpreneurs. It's really not that hard with a couple of those free tools. You can, like I said, sit down for 15 or 20 minutes. You can schedule your content out for the week, for multiple weeks, for, for maybe a month, depending on how often, how frequent you post content on Instagram. Uh, these these tools are a lifesaver. Like I said, they'll cost you zero dollars, zero cents. I'm all about being cheap, or frugal. Frugal is what I'm all about being. So the frugal marketer here, uh, another name of mine. But uh, anyways, use those tools, put these into place. If you have a better tool than Buffer, let me know down below. Like I said, I tried later, I've tried Buffer. I'm trying another one called One Up. It's a really cool tool. You can recycle your content. <clears throat> so you post content, you can post multiple times. So you can say post, uh, um, uh, post tomorrow at four o'clock and then post that post six times for uh, every eight days or 27 days or whatever so you can stretch it out i really like using it for twitter so but again if you have a tool for instagram please post it in the comments below because i'm always looking for something hey if you like these types of videos make sure you hit that little uh, subscribe button and the little bell notification it'll alert you every time i put out a video which is every monday and thursday for your viewing pleasure as always if you have comments questions or concerns please drop them down below and i'll be happy to answer them or at least try to answer them if i can answer them i'll try to direct you to the person or resource to help you out once again thank you